Hello students, let us solve a problem from NEET UG paper 2018. In this problem it is stated that unpolarized light is incident from air on a plane surface of a material of refractive index mu. At a particular angle of incidence, it is found that the reflected and refracted rays are perpendicular to each other. So you have to find out which of the following option is correct for this situation. So to solve this problem, let us discuss the situation once again from this figure. So we know that unpolarized light has two types of electric vectors. You can see there are two arrows and this there is a black dot over here. So these two are representing two different kinds of electric field vector. The two OA arrows are representing the electric field vector which are vibrating in the plane of incidence and this dot is representing the electric field vector which is vibrating perpendicular to the plane of the incidence. Now the incident polarized light is having a particular angle of incidence at this interface suppose that is I which is given here in this problem. So at that particular angle of incidence reflected ray and refracted ray they become perpendicular to each other and this particular angle of incidence is called Brewster angle that we know. So this is called Brewster's angle. And at this particular angle, what happens? The reflected ray will be completely polarized light and it is plane polarized light having electric field vector vibrating in a plane perpendicular to the plane of incidence. And the refracted ray, ray will be partially polarized light. Okay? So therefore, out of these two options, third option is the correct Reflected light is polarized with its electric vector perpendicular to the plane of incidence. Let us now see whether out of these two options whether any one is correct or both are wrong. So we, we know this is the angle of reflection so this, all, this is also I. Let us say the angle of refraction is R. According to the given condition, this I plus R will be 90 degree. Therefore, angle of refraction will be 90 degree minus I. Now, we can write down Snell's law for, for refraction at this interface. So, I can write sin I is equal to mu sin R or mu sin 90 minus i. So this would give you mu into cos of i. So this will give you sin i is equal to sin cos of sorry mu into cos of i or tan i will be is equal to mu. Therefore, you can see that I will be tan inverse of mu. This is actually called Boucher's law. Therefore, the first and third, first and this is fourth option, these are also not correct. And hence, this third option will be the correct answer for this question. Thank you.